Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? On today's video, we are going to show you how to generate contours from your digital elevation model using Global Mapper, right? Good. So the first thing is for us to what? Open the digital elevation model. Good. So we are working on a folder called them um, contours from them. And then this is our digital elevation model. So Global Mapper is giving us a prompt that um, the characteristics of the data of the data set on that our file that we want to import could not be automatically determined. So we should specify the type of data by pressing the appropriate um, button below. So it's asking us if it's a digital elevation, like if it's an elevation data, like a digital elevation model, or it's a raster image data, like what an aerial photograph. So yes, it's what a dem. So we are going to click on yes. If it were maybe an aerial photograph, we are going to click on no, right? Good. So let's click on yes. Now this yes to all might likely be when you're coming in with what maybe multiple data sets, right? So since we just have one, let's go with yes. Now we should select what the elevation you need to use. Definitely we are going to use meters, right? Good. So we click on OK. However, we can also check or uncheck use for all files being loaded. Remember that's when you are trying to import what multiple data, right? Good. So we have what our digital elevation model loaded. And one other thing I've um, appreciated about um, Global Mapper is that it automatically gives you what this um, the color ramp, right? Good. It gives you the color ramp, which guides in maybe explaining what the elevation values that you have on your digital elevation model. And it also changes what the symbology from maybe the black and white to something more presentable. All right. Good. Now let's see how to get what the contours from what this um, digital elevation model. You can either come to analysis and then you go to create contour from what from um, terrain data or you rightly use what this um, other icon that is um, that states what um, create contours right good so let's click on that now we are under the what the contour generation options let's just say good let's see what ss contours and then the next thing is the interval now this is a relatively large area so one needs to be careful about the interval that is going to be used if you use them um, a smaller interval a very small interval let's use that if you use a very small interval it will take quite some time to process and then the details will be so much and if you use a very large interval it will be processed very fast and what the terrain information will not be well depicted so one needs to create a balance right good so um, the default 50 meters interval is fair enough so if you want it to be finer you can reduce it to maybe 20 or 10 or maybe even 5 if you can right good now the contour intervals multiplier the, the the distance between successive contour lines for the minor contours are 5 meters and then for the major contours are 10 meters then we have what the elevation range by default that sorted the highest and the lowest term elevation let's say the lowest and the highest elevation that we have on this um, digital elevation model and we have it here so generate contours within the following range of elevation if you don't want to use this you can rightly change it maybe you want your contours to be generated at a specific what range let's say starting from a specific value to another specific value so you can define your range let's see set at minimum elevation instead of the first word interval multiple within specified range so if you want to use this um, option you can decide to maybe instead of maybe 348 you can take it up to maybe 350 and then maybe you can leave this at maybe 15 or whatever the case is right good that's um, 350 meters and maybe 1.5 kilometers depending on what you want now the resolution that's how fine it's still a bit close towards the interval the resolution affects the fidelity with which contours are generated larger numbers result in less detailed what contour lines that take up less space typically you will just want to accept the, what the default so these um these um values here 
are in arc degrees unlike these values that are in meters right good good so you can also leave it as default as it is we are going to see the effect what as we proceed so let's um, leave some of these other um, options as um, default as they are the simplification less simplification more simplification you can see the note tiling the same thing then the contour bounds we are looking at what all the loaded data right good so if let's say per adventure we needed contour for a specific area within our digital elevation model we can use what these um, contour bounds to either draw a box or maybe if we have a shape file we can define it as okay we need what the contours that cover or that's that bounds that the shape file bounds right good so that's another thing that um, you have control about or maybe you have control of so when we have maybe done or maybe when you have done all of this other stuff ensure you click on apply and then you click on ok you can see it's been generated good so we have what quite a good number of contours let's um, put this out and then you are going to see how much they are right good so these are what the contours that have been generated from that digital elevation model and then you can also see their labels rightly on them right good so the major and the minor as the case may be so we can actually assess what the attribute table either we use that approach by clicking and then coming to what edit them attributes in vector layer or you right click and then you go to what um, edit attributes right good so either way you would arrive at what the attribute table so on the attribute table you can see the elevation column right good so the elevation column maybe by the time you scroll down or if you keep scrolling down you can see the values of the different elevations that have been what have been generated from the digital elevation model that um, you have loaded right good that i've used to get what the contour values of that area so basically this is how easy and simple it is you can also export this data let's say this um, attribute table good so we have what save as um, or let's say save to csv so let's just call this um, let's say ss elevations and then the delimiter will likely use a comma right so it has been exported so basically we've shown you how to use um, your global mapper software to get what the contours from a digital elevation model right good so there are some other analysis you can do especially on this word on this toolbar so as time goes on we are going to explore some of these um, some of these features and see how well we can use that to get um, some digital terrain information so thanks for coming to class if you know that um, the contours are too much remember you can always work on the interval and then you can also maybe reduce the the area of um, interest you can see we have about 9000 features right good so the features here are the contour lines so if you know that they are quite much you can reduce what the interval sorry you can increase the interval right good when you increase the interval you are going to have what um, lesser contour values right good but the fineness the refineness of the contours that define the terrain will not be very good right good so yeah you need to strike a balance so thanks for coming to class we hope to see you on the next one ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye